Hi, Jonathan Pickup. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Don't forget, if you like these movies, hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit the bell so that you get notified. In this movie, I want to have a look at selecting objects, particularly site models are the one thing that give me a lot of trouble. Trying to select an object sometimes, it always selects the site model first. Now, just as I'm demonstrating, it's going to do the opposite. But quite often, I'll get to a point like this where I'll try and select an object and it'll end up selecting the site model instead. So let me show you how to get out of that. If it comes up, hold the J key down and then you can click and it'll bring up a list of all the things that are available. You'll notice there are two site modifiers here, that one and that one, and they're exactly the same size. One is a texture bed and one is a grade limit. And there's my site model. So sometimes when I'm trying to select objects, it, Vectorx quite often selects the site model rather than the objects that I'm trying to select. Here you can see I'm doing it again and it's selecting the site model each time. So I hold down the J key, click, and then it allows me to choose which one of those objects I want to select. I've got a 3D object here. So sometimes you'll find like this, it doesn't highlight the object anymore because it's selecting the site model. So I have to hold down the J key, click, and then it'll recognize that as a polygon. And now for a while, it'll work and select the other objects. And then it'll go back and you'll find it's difficult again. So it's the J click, and then you can select the object that you want.